I'm Ben. I'm sorry. If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. It's sorry says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of Alliance. You don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times, and then get matched down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com, and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon, and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. So we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive you review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is the community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. <laughs> the alliances hang out on Discord. Shh. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash Finn and Sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 here and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Fire merch. Fire merch indeed. A child shall lead them. The night belongs to Mike Franco and Negative Vibes, dear listener. Yeah, the first song on our list tonight, actually, we, a we actually have the name for this stream. The name for this stream being the West Side East Side stream. This is a hip hop stream, as far as I understand. It is. Cannibal Ox Pigeon is the first song on the list. Cannibal Ox are a Harlem three piece hip hop group. Harlem World! Throw it up! Comprised of rappers Vordul Mega and Vast Air with DJ producer ELP, who would later shake the scene a second time with Killer Mike as Run the Jewels. They released just one album as a group in 2001, the very first release of that album that really defined the New York underground hip hop scene at the time, Definitive Jukes Records. War Jewels, Stilted, Mechanical, Machine Gun Flow com complements Vast Air's much looser delivery just perfectly. There's a really cool 30 minute mini documentary about the making of this album on YouTube, YouTube and I would highly recommend checking it out sometime soon. Okay, so I, Right now on the Vin and Sori channel, I'm going to, oh, I thought he had actually had the link to that, but there is no link to that. So check that out if you're interested, you guys. Um, in the meantime, we've got a stream picture in the corner here. Whoop. It's there. It's yes. there already. Yes, I'm pointing at it as we speak. All right, the words of the, the lyrics to the song are right up on Trello. They're, see, they're tagging up a, a wall. You know what? Yeah, that, the, um, hip -hop. the camera's not very clear. What happened? Uh-oh. This perfectionist, we gotta fix the camera. We gotta get the camera perfect. Perfect! Can't be mad at that, dear listener. It's Perfection. Listener. Perfection. Excellence. All right. Did YouTube nuke your channel? I don't get notifications for your videos anymore. YouTube is very interesting. I'm not gonna say they nuked your channel. What I will say is that if you have a problem with that, which a lot of people have expressed, Unsubscribe and resubscribe, and then hit that bell button, and also like this video because the less and less video, the less and less you like a video, it, it tells YouTube you're right. interested in those people. Exactly. So exactly. some of it is conspiratorial, like oh they don't want us to, to, to have the channel, but some of it is like the video. So one of the easiest ways to get us uh, uh, a notification for when we've gone live, because we've gone live for the last two days in a row, is like the video and. Subscribe and resubscribe. You should be in good shape. Let me uh, All right. let me fix this background music because we're dealing with hip hop, not metal, which generally drowns it out. Everybody's saying background music way too loud, so let me turn that. Yeah, I don't off. even hear the background music. Do you? Well, that's because I just turned it oh. off. Oh. Just well, I didn't turn it off. I turned it down. We had the mic on cardioid, so we should be 
in really, really good shape right now. All right, dear listener, here we go. Amy Lee's in the house. So now we really, 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 really got to we really got to bring our A game. We got Mike and Amy in the house. Can't have any weak sauce reviews. No, no, nothing. No weak sauce anything here. Okay. Cannibal Ox Pigeon. Cannibal Ox Pigeon song number 1, not Cannibal Corpse. Cannibal Ox. All right. Pigeon song number 1. Where is it? Where is it, Yarisol? Yeah, okay, there it is right there. Boom bap. <laughs> I turned it up for you. Metallic wing pigeon. Came up with ox. Birds of the same feather flock together, congested on a majestic street corner. That's a short time goal for most of them, cause most of them would rather expand their wings and hover over greater things. That's what we call inspired flight by the pigeons that gotta eat pizza crust every night. And let there be light was understood when a mic stand descended from up and above into the hood. And if my face is worth a thousand words when it's scarred, I would only hope that two of those are cocoa and butter to heal the wounds of the tissue. You scarred and marked the death of my womb But I've graduated, got my wings And you've gotta let go of my constructed Lego, ego, waffle, halo Hey yo, I'm a uh -huh. black man with an African drum in my chest That beats in the opposite of the right Let me know I got a breath left In this frigid, fragile capsule That allows you to fly south before the winter winds trap I my hell I made it Wetsuit stitch so I can swim in elevators Crazy wet through pits I'm just a pigeon with one mile left, that doggy paddles through this bullshit ocean of death And these rags to richest words will break bones Like the assassination of two birds with one stone That's why I don't associate with bird brains with their beaks in the air Pelicans with wide jaws that mean For fish heads you'll get tossed in the flames And some archaeologists will find your skeletal frame Talk to them. Jubilated mega noise when ironworks bullet shot animated mad windows with fireworks shining summertime hydrants flash passing cars now run ghetto tyrants these faces carry scars mega large pigeons turn pain when talk fame on cellular detached Christ word but freeze frame gold chain swing sun of God iceberg gem shines on the neck ghetto flight bird getting fly like word let it settle I remember cats snatched off the pedal stealing bike days do rags worn tight piranha bite way Smoke Chiba, do the long Arabian camel Fast like a cheetah, now I'm knocked off my African sandal God damn you, Ethiopian skin mechanical Trapped in ghettos, mega yard, wear mega hard arms Swinging metal palm, iron skin leopards Holding evil metal eagle attached to desert Paranoid fingertips stitched with B50 plus 7 metal shit Tucked behind a belt, ghetto style like delicate Street etiquette, never lactose metal cow Got milk in the gut, settling cats gotta eat Swallow beef, horribly melanin, mahogany, black boys, feed face, arachnoid, eight arms working short circuit, manufactured, crack melted, slinging shotgun through the mouth to cracked helmets, black felted, capsule, pop flow, shot heavy through the nostril, brain scissors, grab the pistol and get hostile, he caught you alone, fuse blown, unemployed, screaming, that's why I robbed you, tired of the Medicaid, dead and by the car, no containers filled with lemonade, you better get a job, mother talk, just another hawk, Humiliated bodega food stamp transaction. 
left me in corners bumping me accompanied by evil hands clapping Rocking my hell, I made it wet some stick So I could swim in elevators, crazy wet through pits I rock my simulated air tank bit So I could leave pressures of oxygen with my mic slick I'm just a pit. First group. This is uh, song one of Hip Hop Night. Cannibal Ox, mm-hmm. not Cannibal Corpse. <laughs> Cannibal Ox. <laughs> nope, nope. The name of the song is Pigeon. Um. Now, was this song basically Birds of Sing? Basically, he's talking about his life growing up in the hood. Yeah. And what it was basically, like. Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you know, like the pigeons and things like that. That's like a staple. Mm-hmm. in New York you know okay. you just see the pigeons in the ground but they're not really worth anything yeah and they're they just kind of they just kind of like they're just kind of a staple there like not something that you would see and I think he's he, not something that's like gonna stick out of the ordinary but it, it's a uh, they're they're animals that kind of don't get any sort of respect type of thing mm-hmm. and it's it's kind of the effect that you get as a as a person in the ghetto I think yeah. was how he was using that metaphor I, I see. think I think Birds of the same feather flock together congested. I don't know how you guys want to do this because I almost feel like I want to do like verse by verse. Verse by. What? Like the like the breakdown. Like, you know, well, okay, well, I'm not going to. All right. That's all right. insane. I think that you should pick some of them out that like were meaningful to you and we'll talk about those. Well, all of them are meaningful. That's the problem. Birds of the <laughs> same feather flock together congested on a majestic street corner. That's a short time goal for most of them because most of them would rather expand their wings and hover over greater things. That's what we call inspired flight. So what he's talking about there is like, that just reminds me of Summer in the Hood, man, Mm -hmm. where you just go out there and there's people, but everybody's by the block and everybody kind of like hangs out by the street corner because usually the bodega would be right at the end of the street corner, right? And so that's, everybody flocks to that area, but that's also where the drug dealers would be. Okay. Okay. So you'd have the the bodega is basically like a private Seven Eleven, mm-hmm. right? Where you know Miss Sanchez and her family or whatever they all pitch in together and they pretty much live in the bodega. I mean they basically live there, but that's how they make their their money. So mm-hmm. you you got the bodega and then outside the bodega is a drug dealer, are the drug dealers and that's pretty much they're out there literally almost twenty four seven because they're you know they're dealing mm-hmm. drugs or whatever, and so. Birds of the same feather flock together congested on a majestic street corner, which is kind of a that's a that's a that's a very interesting way to talk about the street corner because for us, when we talk about the corner, oh you're still on the corner, blah blah blah, it's like because it's associated with the drug game and all the violence and the cop being harassed by police, all the rest of it. The corner is kind of looked at something as, as something that you want to avoid. Like it's a marker. It's kind of like if you say, oh, you're still living in your mother's basement when you're 25. Like, it's a marker that you've pretty much failed at life mm-hmm. if you're still on the corner. Yeah. You know. Yeah. In your 30s, if you're still on the corner. Oh, really? That's viewed like that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you've, you've... Uh, what do they expect these people to do after they've been drug dealing? 
well, what Jay did, well, Jay washed his money and he converted it into something good. The Kennedys were a big drug family. They converted that. So, okay. So, uh, so you're saying amongst the community, yeah, the they hood. all feel like you should be done doing that at a certain age. Yeah, you you shouldn't be. I look, didn't know that. You shouldn't be on the corner selling mm. nickel bags. I guess I thought it was like, well, yeah, nickel bags. You're yeah. selling nickel bags and shit because look, you're vulnerable to police. Yeah. You don't, you know, you don't have any, you know. So you should be, you should be out of there, and you should be bigger in the drug game to where, you know, in your parlance, basically like you're a manager. You have people working for you. You should not be on the corner. Oh, oh, See not that you should get out of the drug game then. They're no, just no, no, no. saying you just shouldn't be running the corner. Oh, the, yeah, that because, makes sense to me. Okay, sorry, corner, I misunderstood. If you're, if you're on the corner, you're, yeah, of you're, course. A, you're a low-level drug dealer. Yeah, that's like you own a grocery and, and store and you're still bagging the groceries and bringing right. in the car. And that's, that's where the cops, you know, jam you up and all the rest of it. So, But he, he describes the corner, though, as majestic. Yeah, that's really interesting. Which is brilliant. Um, Why? Well, because, like I said, the corner is usually looked upon as something terrible. Yeah. Um, and and it, it practically and socially, but it's majestic because the people there are still, they're still people. You see what I'm saying? And there is something like, yeah. I don't want to say beautiful, but there is something kind of homey about, you know, once in a while when I go back to New York and I see dudes like, you know, around the, around the block, you know, and, and by the, you know, con, you know, hanging around by the bodega, it definitely like. It it, it, it it stirs up nostalgia. You know what I'm saying? Even if it was negative, sure. I saw a lot of crazy shit happen on those corners. Uh, that's where dude got shot. Yeah. That's where, you know, like, so. Yeah. But at the same time, it's still majestic because those are your people. Your people are still there. Hmm. That's a short time goal for most of them. Because that's what they say. Like, oh, I'm just going to do this for a little bit. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah. then it's like a little bit turns into how long. You get all this fast money. You're not just gonna. You see what I'm saying? Like when you get fast money yeah, you like have that, to be, you're not just gonna. You have to be really disciplined to take the money and do what Jay did with it. Right. That that takes a lot of discipline. Yeah, you gotta be a different type. You've of been dude. struggling for a while. You know, your friends have been struggling for a while. You come into the money, so you want to. You know, some people might want to party it up. People want to do other things instead of preparing for making life easier for yourself in the future. But mm -hmm. good for Jay. We're talking about Jay Z, obviously. They'd rather expand their wings and hover over greater things. Uh, that's what we call inspired flight by the pigeons that got to eat pizza crust every night and let there be light was understood when a mic stand descended from an up and above, from up and above into the hood. So that right there is just talking about how, in my view, like you just have this lowly life. You're eating pizza crust. You're eating stale pizza crust because you don't, you know, you don't have enough capital to kind of get yeah. shit moving for you. Yeah. Um, and you're hopeless, you feel you're going to be stuck in the hood, and then boom, down comes this mic stand from, you know, Valhalla. And and it, it says, let there be light in the sense of now you've got some hope because you can use this mic to get yourself out of yeah. a neighborhood, out of a bad situation. Yep. Like, that's one of the things about capitalism where it's like, I know that there are very, there are a lot of evil aspects of capitalism that are really, really horrible. But it it, it yeah. America is the only country where a person like me can be in the situation I'm in. You see what I'm saying? Um, high what do school, you mean? not oh, much education. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, same thing with Jay. Yeah. Not much education. Um, yeah. And you can actually do something for yourself. So, like, I, I have criticisms of the capitalism, but at the same time, it is true that capitalism has risen a lot of people out of poverty um if capitalism could work the way that you know the capitalists like to tell us it works it'd be great but mm -hmm. unfortunately people like jay-z and the rest of them are exceptions they're not the rule mm -hmm. um and if my face is worth a thousand words when it's scarred i only hope that those two are cocoa and butter <laughs> yeah to heal the wounds of the tissue scar to mark the death of my wound, but I graduated, I got my wings, and I've got back to my structural, I got, and let go of my constructed Lego, Ego, Waffle, Halo. Hey, yo, I'm a black man with an African drum in my chest and the beats in the opposite of right. Uh, let me know I got a breath left in this frigid, uh, fragile capsule. He's talking about um, his, himself. Like he still got life. His mom has died. He, he's, oh. he's taken some loss. You know, the death of my womb. I'm assuming he's talking oh. about his his mom Dukes. 
and then he's oh, he's going back to his. I didn't know what that meant. Yeah, he's going back to his Afri- African heritage, so he still has breath left in his in his in his. You know, he's still fighting. He still got shit to live for. Yeah. Um, that allows you to fly south before the winter winds trap you. I wrapped my hell. I made it wetsuit stitch. So now he's able to to go south and stuff when when it's cold or whatever. Yeah. And now he's got some capital to play around with. He's got more options now. Yeah. Um, I didn't understand so I could swim in elevators crazy wet through piss. Well, because the the he's got a wetsuit on. Yeah. Because in the hood, like dudes literally like will piss in the elevators. So like anytime you go in the elevators, it smells like absolute piss. Like it smells like a You're locker. kidding. No bullshit. That's yeah. disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what he's talking about. I'm just a pigeon with one mile left. So like this is he probably went back to the hood after he made it, whatever, whatever, and he's remembering all that shit. Wow. Like it's not yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. I mean it's it's uh it's real. I think uh, shout out to uh damn lamb for the ten dollar super chat. I think our hey, politics thanks. reflect us as humans. We are flawed, so we So the things we do in make are flawed. Politics is not a science. So things will never work out like we idealize them. Does that make sense? 100%, dude. 100%. I agree. And it obviously has ramifications on the people that the policies are affecting for obvious reasons. Escogol Metal got shit kicked out in the oxygen cell. Word shot plated metal along with which uh, along which spun kids' as carousels. Mega alarm technoid. These boys fought forearms swinging two toes very well. That's very forearms. interesting. Words shot plated metal lung with which spun kids as carousels. Mega alarm technoid. These boys fight four arms. Let's see, see, fight four, four arms, arms. Yeah. Swinging two toes very well. He see. Remember that numerology I was talking about that was very big with Nas yeah. and the rest of them. Yeah. So I'll this guy's doing here. the same yeah, thing okay. too, right? Four arms swinging two toes very well. Territories jubilated. Mega noise when iron works. Bullet shot animated. Mad, mad windows with fireworks. So. I think what he's talking about there is just like just snapshots of the hood, bullet yeah. shots, a- animated man windows with with fireworks, like, mm-hmm. like it it, it kind of has that effect after a while. Like when the first gunshot would, like happened outside, I was like, "Yo, is that a gunshot?" And then my older brother's like, "Get down!" You know, he's very very oh. like you know. But then after a while, it kind of became like fireworks. You know, like fireworks out here, oh, like I, when the season's starting yeah. and it starts popping, and you just keep going. You just like, get used to it. You just That's used to it. So, so it's like gunshots out there, like like fireworks. Like yo, people are busting. Blah 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 blah. It's when you, you tell me stuff you don't like that, see it as crazy as it really is, though. It's hard to explain. Like when you're in the middle of it, it's just like oh no. But the thing is, like yeah, everything gets normalized. I know this is a very mild example, but you know, people from the city when they would come to our house, we always had a wood stove. So like literally, fire burning in the middle of your house, like not in the middle. It's it's in a metal box, controlled, yeah, and it's going out a chimney, but. People that are not around that, or they're like, that's insane. You have your kids around a wood stove. Of course, you know, we grew up around a wood stove. Previously at my, you know, previous house, we had a wood stove. No issues. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But you, that's what you get used to. And I, I know that a wood stove is not comparable to gunshots outside your window. Mm-hmm. But it is just, you know, different places acclimate to, to different things. But but that's like a really insane thing to acclimate to. The sound of guns going off in your streets. I mean, my gosh, you just keep going weird (laughs) very weird i don't know about that how old were you do you remember Uh, teenager young teenager small teenager you know but at the time i was excited i'm like whoa you know like because you have no concept of your own mortality Oh, i know i know so you're just thinking yo i want (laughs) to see some shit happen yeah you know like and the other thing for me is like i wanted to i wanted to see if it was all hype you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh my gosh, teenagers. Woo. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, what do you give this song? I mean... This song, this song for me was very, very nostalgic. That's, that's exactly it, what it, I was... It brought me back to 167, 4 Train, Grand Concourse. Shout out to Marcus. Shout out to all my, shout out to all my folks. But it, it reminded me, it reminded me of that. Like, it's not all, it's so hard to explain. Like, the hood is hard, it's bad. And even the bad stuff, like, you you still kind of miss it. It's very, very hard to explain. 
It's very hard. I would never live there again. I would never live in the middle of it again. But there is part of you that's like, yo. I was listening it to this thing. It is kind of nostalgic. I'm not going to. I don't know why it's nostalgic for me, but it is. I was, some, isn't it interesting to think like sometimes we're bent on uh, like looking at the negative and sometimes we're bent on looking at the positive. Like if you looked at all the negative from that time period, you'd be like, hell no, I don't want to. There's no nostalgia there. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. but there's obviously the positive that you, you know, in your mind, you kind of separated them out. So that way you could still like there there was some like when you talk about sharing sharing sodas you and your friends like going in there and yeah. you get a quarter and you get a soda and then everybody shares it with each other and um just like some of the some of the i guess even like for us it was like us and it was our cousins and a few friends in the neighborhood so i mean we there was like 13 of us kids and we were all together but there that's ba- that was it you know like <laughs> what us 13 were doing was that was our entire lives <laughs> you know, like, there was no there was nothing outside of that so it's it's unbelievable to like think you and i are so friggin' different with our upbringing and everything that we've experienced it's just so bizarre yeah a little bit different yeah little yeah a di- little bit different it's cute well you guys had guns too though right like you guys had guns like, my dad pa- gun? no no i don't think so if they had anything it would have been like a big one for hunting but i don't even think that 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 they had that yeah you know what i mean it's one of these the lodge <laughs> Okay, so obviously the song itself doesn't bring any nostalgia for me at all. And some of the spots were kind of shocking. Um, the, the sound the of it spots was... Were, what was shocking to you? Well... This is interesting. Well, you know, I'm just talking about like where, where the guns were going off. Where was that? I mean, you know what I'm talking about. The craziness. Oh, the, oh just, the, To just, pee in the elevator. The, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, What do you mean, what craziness? Yeah. See, this is what we're talking See, I'm, about. I'm like, no, I have no nostalgia for the piss in the elevator. I'm no, I'm no nostalgia <laughs> for that at all. Uh, so anyway, just weird. Bullet actually, shot, animated, were, mad windows you'd, and fireworks. You'd, you'd actually be... Actually, I'm not going to tell that story. I'm not going to tell that story. It's Uh-oh. actually a pretty bad story. <laughs> I'm starting to realize Let's stop now. stop right there. I'm starting to realize, I'm starting to realize now that... that uh, some of these stories are, are better left on said because they're pretty terrible. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, okay, so for me, the song is an 8.2. Um, what? Yeah. Okay, this song, I don't know what year this song came out. Ben, I emailed you back. But this song had, like, 90s Wu-Tang vibes. Like, this is, I, I don't want to sound like this, this is the kind of rap that I came up on. This is the kind of rap, when I think about rap, when I hear a beat like this, th- these are the kind of bars I I think about bringing. Like I'm still trying to figure out hip hop today. It doesn't seem to be about the lyricism so much, which is okay. That's okay. Um, Mace was not a very lyrical person, but he was just aesthetically pleasing to listen to because of the way what he did with his rhyme schemes. Mm-hmm. Like he had a lot of you know duplicated and triplicated like internal external rhyme schemes that were really awesome. So like for him. It was like the flow. He had almost like an ASMR aspect to his. So it, it, it it's not just <coughs> really? like Big was a lyricist. Rakim was a crazy <laughs> lyricist. You know, Mace is, you know, you know, Mace is, he's not, he wasn't very lyrical, mm-hmm. but he was very pleasing to listen. Look at you and look at us. Your guns oh, don't oh, yeah, yeah. bring it with the thrush. Man, you better hush. I could be inside the cage. You can still get touched. And them little ones you bust ain't enough for us. Listen here. Mace will make you disappear. And your mouth will be the my reason gosh. that you missed this year. Man, don't need you. You don't need me. I don't need you neither. That's why my next leg's going to be a two-seater. You know what I'm saying? Like, not very lyrical. Not like, mm. oh, but it's just like, yeah. Eh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, okay. This is 9.4 for me. 9.4 for me. Uh, I appreciate the lyricism. The beat was hard, and it just brought me back to the gutter. Like, the like the freaking gutter, dear listener. The gutter. Okay, we shall return. More hip-hop coming your way. Vin out. Sorry, out. Gone.